plugging it in right. See, so plugging it. See, making sure you're plugging it in right. I, I mean, the stuff that I do here, putting. Are, are you rewinding, Eddie? Or you got another tape? Okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, probably the hardest part. I mean, well, let's let's think about this here. What I have found is that students have the biggest difficulty um, reading the question and determining the hypothesis. That's where the real problem is. Um, the next thing that comes into play would be the critical values, finding the critical values. After that, um, I would probably say it's a test statistic. Now, that's just based on my past experience with classes. The hardest part would be reading the, um, the hypothesis and trying to figure out, is it a proportion or is it a mean? Okay. Um, and actually, look at the homework in the sense that if the homework section is about the mean, every question is going to be about the mean. If it's about the proportion, every question is going to be about the proportion. Is that right? That kind of makes sense. If it's... Um, on a test situation, it's not going to tell you this is a mean or a proportion. But I think typically, typically, if it's a proportion, it does say proportion. Because there's no other way to say, say this, I guess. Um, but sometimes about the mean, they won't even use the word mean. They'll just uh, use that. But I guess it's not. Um, they'll, they'll say this. If somebody's more likely or one group is more likely, is that a mean or a proportion? More likely, is that a mean or a proportion? Why is it a proportion? Because likelihood is associated with 